फ्लो मेशरमेंट टार्क पवर एंड फोर्स मेशरमेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट द फ्लो मेशरमेंट डिवाइस वेंचुरी मीटर आर एफिस मीटर पिटा ट्यूब प्रूविंग रिंग सो वेंचुरी मीटर इज ए फ्लो मेशरिंग डिवाइस आर एफिस मीटर फ्लो मेशरिंग डिवाइस पिटा ट्यूब फ्लो मेशरिंग डिवाइस प्रूविंग रिंग इज ए फोर्स मेशरमेंट डिवाइस सो ऑप्शन इज डी देन so the flow measurement devices are rfis meter venturi meter pitta tube and rota meter rfis meter rfis meter is a device which consist of rfis is nothing but a plate with a hole a plate with a hole is placed in the fluid flow or in the pipe now when the fluid in, uh, enters the um, rfis plate and its uh, cross section is reduced and it and this uh, cross section further reduces and this and at particular place that cross section is minimum at away from the plate that is at this place the cross section may will be minimum and the, and it is called as vena contracta and it is called as this cross section is called as vena contracta after that it, the fluid flow diverges okay so the um, section 11 is uh, that is upstream of the fluid flow and uh, uh, section 2 Section two is taken at the vena vena contracta. That is, manometer readings are taken at the two places. One at uh, before uh, reaching that uh, orifice plate, and is, uh, section two is at vena contracta. And uh, uh, the head the manometry head H is measured, and it can be measured using the formula. Flow can be measured using the formula Q equal to C D into A one A two. स्क्वा रूट आफ टू जी हेच डिड बै स्क्वा रूट आफ ए वन स्क्वा मैन ए टू स्क्वा हियर ए वन इज एरिया क्रास सेक्शनल एरिया अट दि सेक्शन वन वन अंड ए टू इज एरिया अट दीना कॉन्ट्राक्टा सो दिस इज अ प्रिंसिपल आफ आर इफी मीटर देन सेकंड वन वेंचुरी मीटर वेंचुरी मीटर कंसिस्ट आफ ए कन्वर्जिंग पैप ए थ्रोट सेक्शन अंड ए डवर्जिंग कॉन इन द थ्रोट एरिया विल बी मिनिमम अंड वेलासीटी will be maximum and the pressure will be minimum and the section 11 is taken at the upstream of the pipe and the section 2 will be at the throat manometer is inserted between section 11 and the section 22 and this measures the manometry head and the velocity is measured using the formulas q equal to cd into a1 a2 by a1 square minus a2 square into square root of 2gh here the same formula is used for rfis meter but the cd value will be different the cd value for a venturi meter is 0.97 but cd value for an rfis meter is 0.65 cd value will be different for the the different for the different uh, instrument then next one a pitot static tube is attached to the aircraft to measure pressure volume air speed density A pitot static tube is used in aircraft to measure the air speed. So, option is C. So, pitot tube is also a flow measurement device. Okay, pitot tube is also a flow measurement device, but it also measures the air speed or velocity or local velocity. In the pitot tube, it was invented by a French engineer. It is widely used to determine the air speed of an aircraft, water speed of a boat. Okay, and to measure liquid, air, and gas velocities in industrial applications. Okay, it is used to measure the local velocity at a given point and the average velocity of a pipe in the conduit. Okay, so a pitot static tube is attached to the aircraft to measure the air speed. So in the pitot pitot tube, uh, the, that is when the fluid enters the pitot tube, it becomes uh, its velocity becomes zero, and this condition is said to be stagnation condition so at the stagnation condition velocity becomes zero and the pressure is increased due to the increase in pressure the liquid level rises in the pitot tube and this h will be the measure of the velocity velocity is given by the formula velocity equal to square root of 2gh uh, once the velocity is determined we can find uh, uh, discharge q equal to using the formula q equal to a into v so this is a pitot tube then a pitot static tube is attached to the aircraft to measure the air speed answer c which uh, next question which of which one of the following is the mismatch velocity 
anemometer hot wire anemometer measures the velocity wind velocity particularly it measures the wind velocity flow is measured is is correct first one is correct and the flow is measured using rotameter is it is correct and the power is measured using load cell okay this is not correct and level is measured using float power is load cell measures force only it will not measure the pressure power so the c is a mismatch so option is c rotameter is used to measure the flow volume flow rate okay meter cube per second which is the discharge or volume flow rate or flow rota so option a is correct rotameter is a device uh, consists of the principles behind this rotameter are buoyancy effect drag and acceleration due to gravity so rotameter consists of a float okay so the float moves upwards and downwards depending upon the flow rate so the forces acting on the float are that is the buoyancy effect that is uh, for a floating body it is a wooden wooden float so it uh, it is a, a buoyancy force will act in the upward direction the self weight will act in the downward direction due to gravity and the flow is acting in this direction so these three forces are encountered in the rotameter so rotameter is used to measure the flow then local velocity is measured by a pitot tube okay it will uh, venturi meter measures a discharge orifice meter measures a discharge flow nozzle measures a discharge but velocity is measured using the pitot tube answer is a the device which is used for making temporary measurements of flow is orifice plate so the device which is used for making temporary measurement of flow is orifice plate okay uh, so it is not uh, dual flow tube or it is not venturi meter or it is not pitot static tube uh, flow nozzle flow nozzle is a most economical device for making flow measurements but orifice plate is used for making temporary measurements hot wire anemometer is a measuring is a a uh, flow measurement device it measures a velocity wind velocity it is particularly used in wind turbines to measure the wind velocity it can also be if velocity is measured then you can find the flow q equal to using the formula q equal to a into v you can measure the flow rate so hot wire hot wire anemometer is a flow measurement device option c is correct it is not it will not measure high temperature or pressure or force it will measure the flow then variable head flow meters can be used for the measurement of and uh, liquids gases and slurries okay variable head flow meters measures can be used for measuring liquids gases and slurries a uh, rotameter is a uh, variable area flow meter okay, it is not a variable head flow meter it is a variable area flow meter because its uh, area changes its cross section changes so it is a variable area flow meter it is not the variable head flow meters variable head flow meters are used for liquids gases and slurries now then Uh, measurement of power torque and force in a prony brake dynamometer uh, that is mechanical energy is converted into heat okay dynamometers are used for the measurement of torque and power so uh, in which mechanical energy is converted into heat okay so dynamometers are used to measure the frictional resistance once the frictional resistance is measured you can find the torque torque equal to force into radius so we know the radius by measuring the frictional resistance which is equal to force force into radius will be the torque and power equal to so power equal to a newton meter per second if you multiply p equal to 2 pi nd by 60 if you substitute in this formula you can get the power okay so dynamometers can be of different types it is of absorption dynamometer or transmission dynamometer in the absorption we are going to study absorption dynamometer absorption dynamometers are prony brake dynamometer rope brake dynamometer hydraulic dynamometer in the prony brake dynamo first one prony brake dynamometer in the prony brake dynamometer mechanical energy is converted into heat okay so the question is mechanical in prony brake dynamometer mechanical energy is converted into heat so option a is correct in the prony brake dynamometer that is it consist of a brake drum which is mounted over the flywheel here and there are two wooden brake shoes okay and there is a lever arm and the lever arm is connected by a connected by a springs and nuts okay then 
and uh, there is a at the end of the liver arm there is a load carrier there in which dead weights are applied okay so you know the torque equal to force in the radius in this case this torque is indirectly measured that is dead weight into load will give the measure of torque okay dead weight into length this length dead weight in, into length this length will give the measure of okay measure of torque okay indirectly measured okay so the, the weight is kept in this carrier and depending upon the weight the torque can be measured so torque into uh, weight into length is equal to torque and this is the and this is the torque once torque is measured the power can be calculated then rope brake dynamometer so ropes are wound around the brake drum and one end of the rope is connected to the spring balance other end is connected to the dead weight carrier okay so and the upper end of the rope is attached to a spring while the lower end is connected to the by a dead weight so the uh, load is equal to w minus s into newton w is a dead weight load minus s is a spring spring balance reading okay spring force w minus s then distance is distance moved in one revolution equal to pi into d plus d so work done per revolution equal to w minus s into pi into d plus d this is a circumference pi d plus small pi d okay this will give the work done per revolution this is equal to the torque if torque is calculated you can you can find uh, in the formula 2 pi d by 60 you can find the power dash is a torque measuring device uh, eddy current dynamometer is a torque measurement device answer a is correct rotameter flow measurement encoder is a feedback device lbdt is a displacement measurement device so uh, answer a is correct dc dynamometer dc dynamometer before dis uh, discussing about eddy current dynamometer we will discuss about the dc dynamometer dc dynamometer is this is similar to the dynamo fitted in our cycles okay uh, in uh, cycles a dynamo is fitted okay at the two end of the bearings there is a shaft this is similar to the cycle shaft and when we rotate the shaft we rotate the shaft and emf is electrical uh, current is produced electrical energy is produced mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy and this electrical energy is used to light a bulb in a in a dynamo cycle dynamo but here this electrical energy is used to find the torque in case of dc dynamometer similar principle is used in eddy current dynamometer when the rotor rotates eddy current is produced in the stator due to magnetic flux set up by the passage of field current and this eddy current is used in the measurement of torque okay eddy current dynamometers are used in the okay eddy current dynamometer is a torque measurement device then proving rings proving rings are used to measure the force okay it will not measure the displacement velocity and acceleration it will measure the force in the proving ring it is an it is a perfect ring okay it is a perfect ring elastic ring um, and when a load is applied uh, this ring this uh, changes its shape a dial gauge indicator is placed in this proving ring and this indicator measures the deflection of the spring and it is converted into directly converted into force so the proving rings are used for measurement of force when an elastic member is used in conjunction with a strain gauge it is called as a load cell okay uh, load cells are uh, load cells of uh, use, used in the uh, strain gauge so it is a load cell load cell is a transducer to create an electrical signal it's so directly proportional to the force produced various types of uh, load cells include hydraulic load cell pneumatic load cell and strain gauge load cell in the load cell if you apply a force okay load cell in a hydraulic load cell when you apply a force and uh, this uh, increases the pressure of the liquid okay when you apply a force the liquid uh, pressure is increased and this liquid increase in liquid pressure will become the measure of the measure of this force then the pneumatic load cell if you apply a force the pressure of the air is increased and this increase in air will become the measure of this force and in the uh, then the strain gauge load cell if you apply a force okay and the resistance of the material increases this is called a strain gauge load cell the resistance of the material increases and this uh, increase in resistance is measured using a wheatstone bridge circuit and this will be the measure of the force okay 
so its resistance in mechanical stresses through tension or compression forces resistance changes